Today is a good day for Nikon users. Nikon has just released a new firmware upgrade for the Z series line of cameras. This firmware upgrade improves on the autofocus and adds features like voice memo for the Z6. Being a Z62 owner, I'm excited about these new upgrades. Maybe my new camera will be similar to a Sony or a Canon and I won't have to hide it from Canon R5 users. Yes. Yeah, I'm in here testing it. Now that eye tracking on it is suspect. What? What's that? R5. R5. Okay. Yeah, how's eye tracking on that one? It's pretty good. We will come back after this intro. My name is Vaughn. Today I have a special guest. My wife. This is my wife Pam of 33 years. She will be my model for the day. Let's start the test of the Nikon firmware upgrade for Z series cameras. The upgrade for the Z62 is firmware version 1.20. Today we will test the human face tracking mode. In a previous video, I had difficulty with version 1.10 focusing on the eyes in different lighting setups. Can you tell from the video which one is a new upgrade? You guessed right if you picked a photo to the right. These videos were taken in the studio. Next, let's do flash photography. This was one of the disappointments I had with the previous version 1.10. I couldn't get the camera to focus with the flash due to the camera being in a low light situation. Now 1.20 finds the eyes consistently. Before I had to switch to spot metering to ensure I had a sharp photo. Hybrid shooting. Switching between video and photography caused inconsistent autofocus issues. The human tracking feature would time out if I switched and the camera took over the ISO setting in video mode. Version 1.20 works great and now I can use the EVF and the view screen with equal success. For the final test, I discovered this eye tracking trick. I have a mannequin head that I use for lighting. The eye tracking feature locked on the mannequin's eye. I pumped the ISO up and the Z62 was able to autofocus constantly on a mannequin's eye. Who knew? Finally, I have the camera that I paid for. Thank you Nikon for version 1.20. Now, human tracking is no longer a novelty. I can actually use the human eye tracking. It works. It took two to three months, but it works now. So I am no longer ashamed to show my camera. If you're a Nikon user and you just purchased a Z camera, I can now recommend it. Whatever magic dust Nikon sprinkled on this new upgrade works. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.